I'm back. It's been a while, I know. Um, thank you if you have been following my channel and you are watching this video after a long, long time of not seeing anything from me. So sorry, life gets in the way. Um, those of you that are new or watching this for the first time, I do have a big back catalogue of videos for different reviews of all of the products that I own. So please feel free to go back and watch them. The video I'm sh shooting today about the dishwasher, I'm not going to go over all the features. If you want to see all the features about it, then you'll need to go back and watch my first video. Anyway, Christmas is approaching. It's time to start thinking about a little bit of, well, not spring cleaning, I suppose Christmas cleaning. Um, I like to go through all my cupboards in the kitchen, under the sink, take everything out, give it a good clean, throw away things that I don't use and kind of get things ready for the winter uh, and have a nice, clean, fresh kitchen ready for all the stuff that happens over the Christmas period. The fridge needs a bit of a clean out. It's not that bad, but you know, it's about time that all the shelves and all the little drawers and inlays are cleaned out. And I thought to myself, I know, let's bung it all in the dishwasher and see what happens. I can't see there being a problem. The shelves are glass, it's tough and plastic. I don't think it's going to cause any issues. We'll find out together if it does. So today I am going to empty my fridge, take out all the shelves, put it into the dishwasher, run it through a cycle, show you the output at the end and hope for the best that everything goes okay. So thank you for watching, that's today's video. Where do we start then? So the shelves in the uh, fridge are large so they won't just fit in the standard dishwasher as it is. What I'm going to have to do is remove the middle shelf and replace it with this um, part that came with my dishwasher. Basically it just attaches to the back of the dishwasher and it allows you to wash large items. I think it's designed for sort of like large baking sheets and oven shelves, although we're going to use it today for the fridge shelves. Um, I'm going to leave the cutlery top basket in unless it seems to get in the way and then I'll remove it, but let's see how we get on. This is the fridge in question that we are going to clean today. It is a Bosch, it's a Series 4 um, device. It's obviously not as high end as my Series 8 dishwasher that I'm going to use today for this video. Um, it's a fridge freezer, half and half. So first things we need to do is take all of this stuff out, take out all the shelves, and then I'm going to give it a quick wipe and disinfect. Then I'm going to just bung everything back in, just haphazardly at the bottom to keep it cool, obviously, while we're washing. So let me just empty this and then I'll get back to you. I could do one of those silly, one of those. That is magic. Everything comes out relatively easy. Now, these are obviously cold. Um, I don't really, although the dishwasher obviously starts with cold water and warms up gradually, I still don't really want to put these so cold into the dishwasher. So I'm going to take them out now, let them sort of come to room temperature while I clean the inside of this, and then we'll move on to the next part afterwards. So on this Bosch Series 8 dishwasher, as you will have seen, you do have the three shelves. I am going to leave the top one in, as I said, for now, but this shelf, the middle, I'm going to remove. Now, it's quite simple to remove. It just simply pulls out like that, and then you can remove it and place it away. At the back of the dishwasher is where you place the adapter. So that just simply clicks in into place just like that. You then have the full cavity to place all the shelves from the fridge in. So let's try and do that now and see how well we can cram everything in. So let's try positioning some of the large items in first. Now that can go there. And then I've got my shelves that hopefully should just 
fit in. This is going to be slightly interesting. So one, two, three. Ah, oh, right. So I'm going to to get that in four. that because I've got lots of space I don't think it's gonna yep that's okay that closes so now I've got this drawer go yeah. put that there this drawer this one let's put like that so a little bit of a haphazard crammed way of doing it but does it close yes it does so as you can see it is very haphazardly crammed in as I thought I don't need to worry about the top part that's plenty of space there I don't have to remove the drawer from the top so let's get this washing and see what happens. I'm going to just use a bog standard dishwasher detergent, nothing special here. In they goes. Gonna switch the machine on. Now, I don't think I'm going to use a Super 60 or a quick. I think I'm gonna go for automatic, but the low temperature, 35 to 45. Now I normally use that just for glassware. Now, I have extra dry switched on by default. Now, extra dry uses a zealith, and I know it's going to produce a lot of hot air. So I'm always cautious about, yes, it says the maximum temperature is 45 during the wash cycle, but actually during the dry cycle, I'm sure it's going to hit 60, maybe even 75. So always be cautious of stuff like that when you are using a dishwasher. Just because it says the wash program is low doesn't necessarily mean the dry program will be the same. Um, shall I use half load? It might speed it up. No, I'm going to leave it as it is. I am going to put it on vario speed because that will speed up the wash cycle. Those of you that have seen my previous video will know that vario speed basically means instead of alternating between top and bottom during the wash cycle, it uses both at the same time, which obviously uses up more energy and more water, but it does result in a faster wash and I don't want to waste too much time doing this. So start, please close the door. Good luck. One hour, 25 minutes. Let's see what happens. Now that is automatic. So remember, once it's determined how dirty the items are inside, it will probably speed up. So it's been a little under an hour and a half. I've not opened yet. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. Looks okay. And a bit of water, otherwise completely dry. This one again has a little bit of water in it. Nice, clean, mostly dry, just where a tiny bit of water collects in the slight edges here but nice and clean then the draw the shelves let's have a look that fantastic nothing's melted everything looks okay everything's nice and squeaky clean and dry 
So I think that's the job well done. So now I've just got to pop everything back into the fridge. And there we go. So one perfectly clean fridge ready for use over Christmas and until I give it a thorough clean again in spring. So if you are considering doing the same thing that I've done, then be cautious of plastics in dishwashers, making sure that you don't overheat them. Make sure that things aren't going to melt. And apart from that, I would consider this a very successful cleaning. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos. Please look out for new videos coming. Until then, take care. See you later.